ask it yesterday. But let me say something to you loud and clear so you understand it in your language, as you would put it. We're getting hammered, and we're not going to take it anymore. Let me just conclude by saying this. The American people, I believe, have now finally risen. In December 1949, as you know, I'm an historian. I teach history, I teach American history. 20th century history was my specialty. <laughs> and when Imperial Japan was now bent on consolidating their fascist Pacific Empire out in Asia, they went to their finest general, their finest admiral, their finest military leader, Yamamoto. And they said to him, for us to win this war, we have to destroy the American Pacific Fleet knock America out, and then we can seize our empire in the Pacific. And they told Yamamoto, can you do it? Can you attack Pearl Harbor? Can you successfully decimate the American fleet? And Yamamoto, who was very clear-eyed, he was a realist. He was a Japanese nationalist, but he was a realist. Privately said, don't do it. Don't do it. Lock and load. He said, listen, I will do it for you, and we will destroy that fleet. And this is what he said. For six months to a year, we will, quote, run wild in the Pacific, meaning we'll win battle after battle. But he said, after one year, we will lose. And when they announced the successful bombing of Pearl Harbor, he was given a note and it said, Operation Successful. Pearl Harbor has been annihilated. He looked at him, he shook his head, and they said, Admiral, why aren't you celebrating? This is a great day for Japan. We have just destroyed America's Pacific fleet. He said, no, we have awakened a sleeping giant. Our state is they have awoken a sleeping giant. And like in World War II, USA, 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 USA. in World War II, when the American people are aroused, when the American people are awakened, when the American people are united, with God Almighty behind us, no force on earth can stop us. And that is why I am telling you, come this November, it is going to be not just a political landslide. I'm telling you what Democrats are telling me on Capitol Hill. It is going to be a tsunami. This is the beginning of a political rebellion that is going to sweep the ruling class. Not only in Washington, D.C., but right here on Beacon Hill. You are the tip of that spear.